hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel yes 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 and we're talking about somebody new still in the real housewives of atlanta franchise but hey we're going to be talking about the whole crew starting may 1st so get ready for that geared up for that we're going to be concentrating on kenya Moore tonight <laughs> Yes, and her freeness that she feels that she pretty much says she don't have to play the villain in season 14. And I was like, well, damn, you know, I'm going to miss her playing the villain because that's where I get my, my you know, what you call it, my kikis and my ha-ha's. Because can you just be pulling out all the stunts, honey? She come locked, loaded, and ready to spray anybody that's going to get in her way. And I, I miss that. And now she talking about she done settled down and she ain't going to be doing it and stuff. That's a bummer. But anyway, uh, we're going to go to the, her little story about... Hold on one second. Okay, guys, I had to go and get my charger before my phone dies. I didn't think I had. I thought I had more minutes than that, but okay. Let's get this charged up. But yeah, I ran across an article featuring the lovely Kenya Moore. And it seems like she has had a change in pace and how she wants to be seen in future episodes of just seen period. She is basically talking about y'all are going to see something different from her in season 14. She's really going to be taking everything in and enjoying every moment because her nemesis Nene leaks in Portia. Williams are no longer on the show, so she doesn't really feel she needs to be extra. And of course, we know, we know she's not friends with um, Cynthia Bailey anymore. And y'all remember she was sitting up here playing, I don't forgot what the lady's name was, but uh, it was some movie, uh, Kenya was making fun of uh Portia causing herself sleeping with Bolo <laughs> on that night but that that was a hot mess I ain't gonna lie I, I liked it that particular showing of the Real Housewives of Atlanta during that season but Kenya says she still have a snake in the bunch and she's calling that snake Marlo Hampton okay because really the newbies have to prove themselves we already know what Kenya can do you get her a platform and she got to show out on somebody because they coming for her. You know she has all the props in her arsenal. And when you come for her, you better make sure you just blow her up. Because <laughs> she definitely going to take you off the earth with her commentary. When she get ready to go for you, she hold no holes barred. When you open up that floodgate, she gonna be ready to swim through anything you be able to put in her direction, okay? Cause she's twirl, twirl, fabulous, fabulous, twirl, twirl, okay? She gonna show out and show up, and she's gonna be like a tsunami. And what is the what do they call a tornado? A hurricane? I don't know what they call it. It's not a water spout. But it's, it's like a tornado on water. I'm thinking tsunami. But y'all get in the comments and tell me what y'all think it is. Okay. But yes, honey. Honey. I'm just waiting to see how Marlo is going to react. How she's going to, I don't know, play her wits. 
And I'm pretty sure the only person you really can come for that's a veteran is Kenya. But we got Sheree. She's supposed to be being a little bit more transparent than what she's been on previous shows from what Candy is telling us. But it seems like Miss Kenya Moore is just enjoying motherhood. And I don't know, y'all. I thought her and Mark were actually divorced. I mean, it's been a long time coming and she's still tied to that joker. I thought she had been dropped that trick. You know what I mean? I really thought she had dropped him somewhere. Put him out of his misery. Put him back on the, on the road. I thought she said, hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back. No more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. Hey, what you say? I hit the road, Jack. That's what I thought she had told him. But it seems like he's still in the picture. She ain't liking it. She ready to be single and mingling. Because I think... Personally, me, I think Kenya just always wanted a baby. Um, a man or a husband could have been secondary. Meaning she was going to try to put forth a good effort. But if it was not really worth her time and her energy, she'll settle for the baby. So, I think she pretty much got out what she really wanted that could make her happy. Now, as Brooklyn gets older and she gets uh, more of a teenage style... Then maybe Kenya will probably be missing, you know, little baby girl Brooklyn. And she's going to have to deal with that adolescent change. And that's going to be something to see as well. Maybe Kenya have her own show. You know, who knows. But I kind of felt Cynthia must did something on that ultimate girls trip to make Kenya not really be pressed to do anything with her. Because, you know, Kenya, if you betray her and you do it in front of her face, she got a problem with that. Not, nevertheless, doing it behind her back. But when you really show out in front of her face, she's unforgiving. I mean, I guess she will forgive. But how she thinks, she's not going to help with you anymore. You're just going to be like something that she once knew but don't know and don't care about anymore. <laughs> And I guess it wouldn't be a bad thing because Cynthia's not on the show anymore. So, they really don't have to come in contact with each other. They really don't float in the same uh, friendship scene. Except for the one person being Candy. If Candy had something or whatnot, I'm pretty sure she would bite Cynthia. You know, she's going to bite Kenya. And then they would have to cross paths that way. But then again, you know, Kenya, she good at show, uh, just, you know, sending gifts. <laughs> <laughs> and saying she ain't finna be bothered with it but it just is what it is but we're going to the commentary that entertainment tonight had put out um, on Miss Kenya Moore and Bryce Sander was the one who brought out the article on Miss Kenya Moore he titled it Kenya Moore is doing or is done with being Real Housewives of Atlanta's villain and ready for a carefree season for season 14. Kenya Moore is passing the villain baton, Air Scepter, on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Rec rec uh, <coughs> excuse me. Reclaiming her carefree, happy, funny throne. Or maybe just claiming it for the first time as everyone's friend for season 14. Now, can y'all see Kenya Moore being everybody's friend? I'm like, mmm, Candy, yeah. Drew, maybe. Sheree, okay. But Marla, eh, I don't think so. Okay. Going back to the article, it says, I'm the Kenya that I was always meant to be this season. The longtime Peach Holder tells E.T. is so funny because I think that I got pegged in this villain role. And now it's like, girl, just let someone else have that baton. Here, pass the scepter on. Honey, it's over for you. I just think I'm back to reclaiming who I was always meant to be on the show. Lighthearted, fun, sassy. I would tell a itch off. But I do it with such dignity and grace. <laughs> I'm like, the way you bought the cookie lady over there for uh, Tanya, 
to uh partake of girl now how was that classic that was trashy that was a trashy move but i was loving every minute of it <laughs> I, sure I was sitting there with my popcorn and my favorite beverage and i was looking at you and i was looking at tanya and how everybody was looking uncomfortable i said that goddamn sense i mean that goddamn king <laughs> And when you came in there with your three-piece marching band on Wallow Hampton's uh, ceremony or event she was having, you part of your own quartet, your own band. I was like, oh, Lord, tell me some Kenya Moore hair. <laughs> I'm like, this girl is crazy as hell. But I like her, okay? But anyway, you know, I do my sidebars here and there. But going back to the article. It says, can you join Real Housewives of Atlanta in season five, becoming an adversary for many from day one? Fans will recall her infamous Gone with the Wind fabulous rant from her first cast trip. I think that I was just pegged into that villain role really early, and I just was never able to get out of that, she knows. I sort of, in my own way, leaned into it, and then it was just like, okay, this is old, but because now this really isn't who i am and i hate that i'm even perceived that way yeah kenya you was a dirty dog <laughs> you were vicious you were untamable yes honey but that's what you were trained to do when you were given a task and you did learn the assignment and fulfilled it very well okay so mission accomplished mission accomplished baby girl but i think it's just you getting older you're recognizing what is real and what you really look forward to having in your life and it's not really having a lot of money and a lot of friends and this that, and that it's just having your baby girl seeing her grow and you vicariously living through her youth and you're being able to just watch her expand and explore and it's exciting and you definitely have your um, your financial situation worked out real well. So you can be elective on what you want to accept as far as a business proposition or not. So you set yourself up real well and I am so proud of you. You definitely have come a long way. <laughs> It's been a long time coming, but now you're able to smell the roses and you can see the forest for the trees, my girl. That's right. Pass that scepter on to Marlo Hampton. Let her go for it. Do what it make it do. And if she comes across your path and she's not supposed to be there, then you could tell uh you could tell Iga up. Okay. I would like to see that little side come out just for a little bit. Just for a little bit. Okay. We're going back to the article it says a few factors play into kenya's feelings um free to be who she wants to be on tv though one sticks out her longtime frenemy portia williams is no longer a part of the cast portia opt out of filming season 14 instead of focusing on a uh, family theme spinoff which aired this past winter it was a total flip-flop okay flip-flop and burned and still burning okay we still can't even put it out because it, it was just that horrible okay but going back to the article it says it's a great season kenya gushes it's well produced and it's definitely got us got us to be back honest and not with a lot of girls started self-producing and we've gotten away from that and if you watch their show you can see the show's villain versus the real villain she quips though uh, doesn't explicitly reference Portia by name while some viewers were sad to see Portia step aside uh, others were excited to finally be free of this year's long back and forth between she and Kenya that had more than ran its course Kenya agrees it felt like a weight was lifted and to me I never really got tired of her going back and forth with Portia I just got tired of her and Nene going back and forth so that was just my insight to that little theory or they were trying to pin when she was not really happy on the show and she had to always show up and show out for the negative so now she's like being free the other newcomers are needing to prove their self to bring something to the um 
the enterprise or uh, the company franchise and, and, and make ratings go up without her having to have to do a lot. You know what I'm saying? Because Gay had to do a lot for the last three past seasons. And I was like, okay, what we got now? We got Kenya starting and we got several people on the bench warming shit up. Mostly it was Cynthia, of course. But moving on from there, it said, um, I feel that... I feel that where we were is where we were now not so necessarily by my own doing especially in the last season she shares I definitely made that offer for peace extending that olive branch and it was not returned I realized it wasn't me at that point and I was ready to move on and yes I'm free of that situation and happy for people to uh, move on as well she's talking about Portia we go on back we said when when you do all that you can and people still reject your friendship let then let them go she adds okay and we hope she's still trying to do the same thing with mark just let his ass go let him go into the sunset and you uh just turn your back because <laughs> you, you got what you wanted out the situation that's your baby girl okay but going back to the article it says another factor at play in bringing a lighter brighter kenya to screens is the fact that she sees the light at the end of the tunnel that is her divorce from her husband, Mark Daly, the two tied the night in 2017. Can you file for divorce from the New York-based uh, restaurateur in 2021 after a lengthy separation? The season was about me just coming into my own, reclaiming who I was before the divorce, all that. I'm just in a different place, she explains. I think where I... I think what I explore in my own life this season is just being back to who I was. And it's just fun, slight hearted, reclaiming my power. I think that I lost a lot of that during my divorce and my marriage. I feel like I had to take inventory of myself and figure out where did I go wrong now that I figured it out. It's just back to being me. Kenya co-stars jokingly referred to the woman she became around Mark as Ken. But Kenya's reclaiming that nickname too and taking back her power. She says Ken has always been what her family calls her, the warmest version of herself. I think where I went wrong in my marriage is that I lost my voice. Is that I thought that I had to be a different kind of person to make a marriage work, she says. Someone that says yes and doesn't speak up and just goes alone to get alone and that is completely false kenya admits to clinging to her broken relationship because wait a minute okay because it was the family she's always wanted that she never had and that can be detrimental when you really don't have your mother in, in your life and your mother's still living on this earth and she don't want to have anything to do with you and you go in your adulthood adulthood looking for that love that you didn't have when you was a child so yeah i can see that being a major mistake but like i said she did get a pretty baby girl out of it and she's adorable going back to the article it says i was afraid of failing at my marriage because i wanted it to work so badly she says i waited 46 years to get married and so i thought i found my prince i thought i found everything and i didn't want to be divorced because of me i held on as much as i could and i just had to realize that being happy and being a strong person is exactly what my daughter needs she adds not someone to swallow herself or become lost in a marriage for the sake of being married the daughter is Brooklyn, who just turned three. She's the silver lining that came out of a marriage. Kenya calls Brooklyn a little star and her mini-me. Brooklyn, also seemingly the person who's given her purpose amid the mess. I'm so excited for the viewers to see me move on, she says. Not to be sad, not to be angry, not to be hurt. I understand that my marriage didn't work out and I changed during my marriage. Now that I know that it's over and I filed for divorce and I'm still still waiting uh to have that stamp kenya says she wishes she knew when her divorce would be finalized but mark has yet to sign the paper he refuses to talk to me about a settlement she laments child care and support and visitations all of that's been settled already so the only thing left is money and to just completely not go on the weird 
continue to read this whole thing about Mark because I don't want to. Uh, because she don't need that much space on our platform. But she was just saying uh, he wants to be paid. He, he, he don't want to just leave the marriage with anything. He feels like he should be monetary compensated. And she really feels like whatever you came into the marriage with, that's what you need to leave out of the marriage with. And he's just not uh, assuming that position. So that's what's being held up. So I'm like, girl, just go on and pay him off, okay? Uh, I guess you will have to get a mediator to discuss what is the highest that he wants to ask for. Since he feels that you may be making more than him, okay? Maybe the restaurant is, uh, you know, in a tank downward position because of COVID and the lack of personnel being able to work because of the illness um the virus running around here tearing up people but um i don't know that's that's the dangerous game you play when you get married and you don't have a prenup which kenya didn't and that's why she's in this predicament right about now <laughs> where he's holding on because he's seeing that her what do you call it her uh monetary financial portfolio is increasing with each year and i guess he wants a piece of that pie so who knows we don't know uh maybe can you give in and just go on and just you know get rid of this ego so he can just move on and be nice and comforting to his daughter but she can he can leave her out <laughs> which she claims that she wants anyway she's ready to uh mingle she's ready to uh get back to dating and having a companion i don't know if she would ever because she didn't really say that she would get married again but um it, it really is something so i really feel kenya um did a good what do you call it uh 360 turnaround thing i wish her well and um we'll see what she gives us on season 14 but that's all i had for this video guys hopefully y'all liked it y'all loved it and y'all felt refreshed because kenya seems to be coming back to the season very open-hearted um uh, very in tune with what she wants to give the show for this season and what she wants people to see uh, the change the metamorphosis she has gone through because she definitely did a good job on uh, Dancing with the Stars and lost a lot of weight uh, and it seems like she's ma maintaining that weight loss so uh, yeah and then we got Apollo sneaking in trying to help uh, Sheree Whitfield with her storyline and that's gonna be amazing so yeah i'll be glad i shoot can you know stirred up enough trouble uh on all these seasons she's been on since season five so it's time for her to take a back seat and see if the youngins can compete with what she already knows as her being the iconic person um and being one of the ogs too because it's right now it's just we gonna call Marlo because she just became a peach holder. But between her and Candy, they are the longest ones being on the show. So that's very interesting to see Portia being dissed as well as Nene. And if it is what they say is gonna be a exciting season, then we probably wouldn't need Portia to come back. There ain't no sense of having no animosity amongst the OGs. Let the new new uh generation, the newbies, um uh, hammer it out while they just sit there and and uh <laughs> they sit on the sidelines and just see who's gonna get they cut no, they uh cut through <laughs> they neck cut who, who gonna do it is it Drusador or sanya sanya richards ross or god dog we got the other one over there uh what's her name <laughs> i know they're trying to put my yellow shawl up in now but she didn't make the cut so it's gonna be very very interesting and then candy up there trying to get into it with marlo child please i don't told you can't see her little short self down so well <laughs> but that's funny 
but the one that I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing uh, to flourish in this season is uh, Sanya Richards Ross, honey. She was demanding respect from Juice Adore. I'm like, okay, girl, speaking in another language at that. I said, okay, honey, I see you, I feel you, and I'm ready here. I'm here for it, okay? I am here for it. I'm sitting on the sidelines with Kenya just to see who's going to be the number one stunner up in here. Alright, but that's all I got y'all. I'll see y'all next video. Take care. Bye-bye.